Convinced Republicans have now settled on his election opponent, President Obama is teeing off on the economic platform that Foe will run on, starting with the budget so the much. GOP House passed last week, and likely standard bearer Mitt Romney Thank has you. fully endorsed. It is a Trojan horse. Disguised as deficit reduction plans, it is really an attempt to impose a radical vision on our country. It is thinly veiled social Dar Darwinism. At a meeting of AP editors and publishers, Obama said the blueprint would decimate Medicare and other key investments to fund yet more tax cuts for the rich. By gutting the very things we need to grow an economy that's built to last. Education and training, research and development, our infrastructure, it is a prescription for decline. Strong words on the latest big primary day, seeking to turn GOP charges that Obama accepts America's decline back on the opponents who launched them. Indeed, throughout the primary season, the president has seen key GOP contests as targets of opportunity. He has counter-programmed with a string of high-profile speeches determined to be seen as on the electoral offense. On the campaign trail, Obama's handling of the economy has been a GOP punching bag. Instead of standing up and saying, as the president, his policies have not worked, he, of course, will look for someone else to blame. But Obama says gridlocks the problem, and both parties do not evenly share blame. We have on one side a party that will brook no compromise. A party grown so extreme, he says, even the staunchly conservative Ronald Reagan wouldn't recognize it. He could not get through a Republican primary today. The lesson, in case there were any doubt, is that the preliminaries are basically over with. For campaign 2012, it's game on. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.